What's up guys, Drew Prindle here from Digital Trends and I am here checking out the Monoprice Mini Delta. It is a $160 3D printer, which is mind blowing by itself because as far as I can tell, that makes it the cheapest 3D printer that you can buy that's fully assembled. But that's not even the craziest part about it. The thing that blows my mind about this printer is despite the fact that it is so cheap, it actually has a bunch of high-end features that you usually could only find on printers that cost 10 times as much. First up, it has a heated bed, which prevents warping during prints. It also has auto leveling for that bed, so you don't have to adjust it when you first set it up. It does all of that for you, no calibration necessary. It also has this full, like 100% metal body, which makes it really sturdy and really reliable from print to print. It also has a full color LCD screen for you to navigate through. You would be hard pressed to find all of these features on a printer that costs you know, over $1,000, let alone one that costs less than a Fitbit. However, there are some downsides to this thing. The first being the fact that it has a pretty small build area. It's only 110 centimeters in diameter and 120 centimeters tall. So you're not gonna be able to print anything very big with this printer. The other thing that's not so great about this printer is the fact that it's definitely not for beginners. Despite the fact that it's really cheap, it's not the easiest to use if you've never printed before. So for example, in order to load filament onto this before you can print, you have to manually heat up the nozzle, then manually feed through the filament and then make sure that it's coming out correctly before you can do a print. There's no wizard that walks you through any of that, so you kind of have to know a little bit about 3D printing before you start using this thing. The other thing that isn't so great about it is it doesn't have a proprietary uh, slicer program to use with it. That's the software that you use to prepare your 3D model before you print it. It doesn't have one that is specifically made for the printer, so you're free to use whatever slicer you want. However, it's kind of tricky to set it up on some software. So that's another thing that you have to know a little bit about 3D printing before you start using it. So not the most beginner friendly printer ever. Even with all of those flaws, this is still a pretty solid little printer, especially for that low price of 160 bucks. It prints really reliably. It has a 50 micron layer maximum resolution and it's pretty sturdily built. So it's a really reliable printer, despite the fact that it's just so freaking cheap. Um, so if you're in the market for a 3D printer, and you don't mind that steep learning curve, you don't mind diving in and learning a few things, definitely keep an eye out for the Monoprice Mini Delta. It comes out in spring of 2018.